I'm Dean Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. We're back with some hatchets actually, and they're not really they're throwing axes, they're throwing hatchets. They weigh about a pound five ounces and they're pretty well balanced. Uh, you'll notice I have been throwing them and I took a chunk out of this one because I was throwing tight groupings and like I normally try. The thing is with wood handles, and eh, don't do that. Uh, if you hit one into the center where you want it, just go off to one side or the other or above it or just don't go down below because usually that's another thing of hitting the handles um, you know either way it gives you practice because if you hit that center with a one and you're aiming at another spot and you see that well that's still giving you practice on what to do uh, now the one thing I haven't had though with this and you'll notice right here this head has come loose so uh, you sometimes got to put it back into place just a little bit and then one of the reasons I should tell you this too is you want that back into place so it's setting properly or you just won't hit that target right so we'll, let me get around here and then we're going to start throwing the one thing you want to do too with it is to follow through if you don't follow through, especially with these, it probably won't stick right. Now that head came loose again, so I want to get it down there. And I bet that wasn't in there right. Because now that one was. That shows you why it's important to make sure that those heads are right. Because, yep, see, it wasn't in there right. Of course, it's hard for you to tell anyway. These probably need tapped down further. You can see the wedges that are in there. Now, that one's in the center. So the next one, I want to avoid that to hit it. And I avoided it all right, and I didn't stick it. This head just isn't pounded down quite, I don't know, hopefully, in fact, I'll th throw this one first. I bet it wasn't in there right. Cause see, now that one's stuck. It really does make a difference, and I'm glad that happened, because if this isn't where you're wanting it, that might be about it here. We'll try it. Yeah, right down center. I got it in there right. You have to have those heads positioned properly. And I aimed that one. I should have told you where I was going to aim it, and I hit it right where I wanted it, just right above it. So they're pretty doggone good throwing hatchets. I like them as long as you follow through. These are not ones that you're gonna do just this way. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This one's loose again, so I won't mess with that. But I'm not gonna follow all the way through. I'm just gonna show you what'll happen. <laughs> well, what happened is I stuck it. I probably followed through a little bit more than I planned. That one didn't stick, but it hit center. But see, I did it more of a flip. I didn't go all the way through. And that's what makes it important to do that. This time we'll follow all the way through. And that's what you want to do with it. And we'll see what this one does. Hopefully the head's right. Yeah, it is. It's stuck good. So those are the new wicking throwing hatchets. You can see their logo right there, what it looks like. And uh, 
they're they're pretty doggone good like i said just if one of them gets loosened up though like this you make sure that it's back in the position you can see right here see and you want it into the right position there she fell right hopefully right in so anyway that's the as i said the new wicking throwing hatchets they got good balance to them you follow through right with them you're going to have a good throwing experience so until next time throw safe shoot safe and have a great day of blanking